Today I'm going to show a light volume optimization using the stencil buffer. As you can see, the meshes are completely black right now, and the reason is because none of the light volumes are intersecting these meshes, so nothing's being lit. So if I click on the lights, you can see there's no intersection with any of these lights. So essentially, the GPU is sitting idle and not really doing much of anything, which is what you want, because if there's nothing to light, you don't want to be running expensive pixel shaders. And what I do is I pre-render the light volumes and mask off the stencil buffer whenever there's an intersection with a mesh. So for example, if I bring in this light closely to the mesh, there, you can see it lighting up red. And what I've done is I've told the pixel shader to just mask, mask off the stencil buffer and wherever there's a, a value in the stencil buffer, just color it red. Now the advantage here is when I have the full lighting pixel shader, it will only run the shader instructions for the intersection with the light volume and the mesh. So wherever it's red. So the rest of the mesh, which is black, the pixel shader will not be run. And that's a huge advantage because you're only lighting the pixels that need to be lit and you're ignoring everything else. So you're doing the minimum amount of work and getting the lighting solution that you need. And that's always a big win because uh, in 3D graphic is pretty much, um, it's not the work that you do in graphics, it's the work that you avoid doing, which you know makes your engine run that much quicker. And again, I'll do this mesh, I'll bring it in closely. Yeah, there you can see it's only intersecting the uh, fingers of the hands. So again, the pixel shader will only be run for the hands because that's all that's intersection and intersecting. So that's a huge win because the rest of the mesh is pretty much ignored. And I'll do another bigger intersection this time. Right. So this time the top torso is being rendered and the rest of the body is ignored by the pixel shader. So if I bring this one in close, we'll just do the boot heels. So again, it doesn't matter how expensive your pixel shader is because it's only being run for this area that's red. And that's how you make get uh, pretty good performance having say 40 to 50 lights in the world because the lights aren't being uh, rendered for the entire mesh. It's only rendering intersections. So it's a huge savings. I'm still working on the lights, uh, but I've made a lot of progress. I'll do another video um, when it's done, and there I'll demonstrate the complete lighting solution. Right now, what I'm showing is a stencil buffer optimization for lighting. And as you can see, it works pretty well, and it's very accurate. So I'll do another video when the lighting is complete. Thanks.